A deadly attack by a bear in North Jersey has residents worried tonight. They gathered in West Milford to discuss what authorities are calling the first fatal bear attack in the state's history. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. Earlier this summer, this black bear spent 20 minutes in Bob Small's backyard. He's looking for food, and we've never had a problem with him. Up to 2,400 bears live in the woods of North Jersey, which is why so many are shocked at the fatal bear attack in Opshua Preserve. The whole idea that a bear attacked somebody and killed them in this area is very strange to me. There was bite marks and claw marks on the body. Police say five friends from Edison went for a hike Sunday, but only four made it out alive. Darsh Patel, a 22-year-old senior at Rutgers University, was mauled to death by a 300-pound black bear. The surviving hikers told police they encountered the bear in the woods and it began to follow them. They grew frightened and ran. Patel became separated from the others. West Milford search and rescue found him dead, the bear standing guard just yards away. When a predator has a kill, all right, what they will do, and black bears, uh, mountain lions will do the same thing. Um, they'll safeguard the body. A West Milford cop shot and killed the bear. Investigators don't believe the hikers provoked the attack and say the reason the bear pounced may never be determined. Monday night, a long planned meeting about bears took on new urgency at the West Milford Municipal Building. Is there a good bear? Is there a bad bear? Or are they all the same? A wildlife expert told residents to keep it in perspective. Sunday's attack, the first ever fatal bear encounter in recorded New Jersey history. In West Milford, New Jersey, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. So what do you do if you encounter a bear? Experts say don't run. They suggest if you can, make noise and wave your hands wildly if you can, and avoid direct eye contact with the bear. Rec